Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here on this the hard point map one between the Seattle South. Uh, it's gonna get mixy, mixy here. It definitely mixy off the start, but Seattle doing a good job at least getting that initial hill time, and then sneak here with a big kill for his team. You can see what can Mo Boone Kmo, sorry. Um, is also doing a great job on that hill, but our fellow caster getting cute unfortunately gets gunned down right there in Seattle getting the initial hill time here Yeah, this has been great from the side of Seattle, you know, they got control pretty early on Had those uh, better spawns towards that That bar side and they are able to hold at least the first 30 seconds of this we are seeing getting Q getting in there uh, Towards the table side. He's unfortunately gonna be taken down by Boone there uh, We do see kind of one last contest coming here from the side of P1 uh, these important these rotations are pretty important towards p2 and we do see the side of uh, Stasky they do get this wipe here on p1 able to take the last couple seconds But they do have this rotation over to p2 as Seattle's kind of spawn in the those and Sneep just drops a cruise missile to start He was six and no gets two. that's big for Seattle able to at least stop the players from Stasky getting the hill But Shuggy's there and so is Kalapuli just making sure you at least clear that hill and start getting a bit of points on the board and right now, Sasuke doing a great job of it. Sasuke had the rotations. They've gotten their kills. Uh, they continue getting the kills here. And they're finally spawned in Seattle towards that back P3 side. Uh, probably not the not the spawns you want to give the team. We do see a couple split spawns coming down here from the side of Seattle. They are able to get a couple pinches here. That's going to be all four dead from the side of Sasuke. Uh, Seattle doing a great job. Still spawning the side of Sasuke out. They're looking to take that last 10 seconds of some good scrap time. Getting rotated over towards that P3 here. As we're going to see some important gunfights going down here for initial control of P3 for far side. And a map like this is not your typical hardpoint map in which every hill is sort of crisscross. You've got P1 and P2 very close to each other, P3 and P4 very close to each other as well. The only really crisscross hills are P4 and P5. So it is easy to get scraps and rotate for the next hill at the same time, but an unfortunate team needed two kills from the side of Sasuke. And just like that, they break the setup from Seattle. Seattle still has good spawns, but Sasuke doing a great job right now and it's gonna even it up pretty soon. This has definitely been a, a very good back and forth map here. We saw Seattle with about 30 seconds on P1, and we seem to have about 19 seconds here, about halfway through P3. So it's been a pretty back and forth year between uh, Seattle and Sasky here. And uh, Seattle's looking to try to get the rest of this hill time as everyone's starting to rotate over towards P4. And just as I say that, Shuggy comes in with a massive two piece, unfortunately, going to be taken down by Boone. Uh, they are, a side of Seattle is going to be able to take that. That's scrap time, uh, but we do see the side of Sasuke starting to get active here towards this P4. And yeah, this is one of these hills where you want to have good spawns initially if you have the hill. But if you are able to break the hill just like how Seattle is able to, you have the side of Sasuke just spawning all the way out and it's very open. It's very big for ARs here to just be able to hold the hill. So if you're Seattle right now, you're more than satisfied to have those P2 spawns and have Sasuke just spawning all the way near P3. Just a sneak guns down two. Another kill also from Seattle, and they are in control of this P4 so far, doing a great job. Yeah, like you mentioned, that those spawns really, uh, you kind of want to go on the abnormal side. That Typically, you want to spawn closer to the hill, but on that P4 Vista, we have definitely found that uh, when you're spawning that P2 side kind of in the depths, it's a better spawn. Uh, you have a couple routes to get towards P4, but when you're spawning back pillars, back P3, you only really have two routes. Uh, you go through that back palm or you go through middle and typically it's pretty easy for the ARs to cut you off there. As we do see uh, Sasuke here, that they're kind of winning the rotation battle, but they're not able to hold these initial hills. So let's see how they decide to hold P5 here. As we do see Nico trying to get towards that rail catwalk side. He is unfortunately going to get taken down, uh, but Sasuke with the early, early hold here of P5. Yeah, no, Sasuke doing a great job on rotation so far, but Seattle's been able to break every hill Sasuke has held so far. The kills are coming in, the trades are coming in, but Sasuke, this is the best hold they've had so far on this map, but Sneep on the flank, that's one. For third to the other, but Graffiti is there, or Graf is there in order to get the trades. No one on the hill, Nico hops on it, and just like that, Seattle breaks another hill from Sasuke, spawning them out all the way to P3. Seattle has done such a great job so far this game with breaking these Sasuke hills. Sasuke has gotten the, the rotation on every single hill. Uh, that's P2 through P5. They've been there first. 
and Seattle's been able to break them very early and get those points. You see the, the point deficit there going to be about 70 going into the second rotation here. Back towards P1 is uh, getting cues, getting involved, and he's unfortunately going to be getting taken down. Uh, but his teammates are there to pick up for him uh, from the yeah. side of Sasuke. And once again, you, you see Sasuke here on this rotation. They really just need to buckle down and hold this point. And the thing with Seattle is the way they break hills is they're very good at pinching. They approach from multiple angles instead of just flooding through one side. And with whenever they get that first initial kill, they're able to get those trades. But now Sasuke doing a much better job of holding on this P1. And they're going to bring it much closer if they can. They're also looking about rotations on the P2. But Sneak is there, gets the break. Halapuli unable to get that kill. And... Sasuke is soaking the majority of this B1. This has been the best hill they've had so far. It's been a great hold from the side of Sasuke. They did exactly what they needed to hold this hill. They're not going to have rotations to P2 just yet. Uh, we do see Graf here kind of trying to get involved from these mid stairs. He's going to be taken down by Berserk. And this is the next big kill here. Getting Q's able to pick up one. Uh, he's not able to get traded, so he's just going to provide some mid-map presence here as we do see kind of a, a fight going down here. Seattle is going to be able to pick up two, make that three. Uh, they do know the location to graph here towards sign. Graf is going to pick up two huge kills, unfortunately going to fall. That's going to give his, his team a little bit of time to get here towards P2. And for once, Seattle is the first team to rotate onto this uh, hill and just get rotation. And this time it's Sasuke that's able to break the hill and get him off at least. And right now getting Q trying to soak as much hill time as possible. And Graf, the power is going berserk. He's, he's on fire right now, getting all those important kills from top of Burger. Sneep with the crew is unfortunate, unable to connect. And then Shuggy's right there trying to contest the hill. But Seattle is able to break it or lose uh, scrap time as well as get rotation. Sneep with a massive kill on P3. Yeah, Sneep is doing a great job. He's really slaying out for his team here. That's two cruise missiles for him in the match. Uh, kind of kind of unheard of in these competitive maps to really even get one, but getting two, uh, pretty impressive there. And so Sneep's really holding down the kills for his team, allowing his team to get those breaks when they need to. Uh, and, you know, we do see Seattle here. Uh, they are able to get this rotation to P3. Let's see if Sasuke can pull a little bit of a P2 magic here and, and get a break. And so far, so good from Shuggy. He's able to get one and then he does get some tags on Berserk. Can he get the kill? No, Nico's there to help him. And then Sneep with one as well. Trey's going back and forth. Graf is just on fire right now. Can he get the third? Yes, he can. He breaks the hill all on his own. Sasuke doing a great job breaking that P2. Sasuke's doing exactly what they need to here. Getting, they're spreading out, hitting different different angles at the same time really using teamwork here before they're kind of going one by one like you mentioned exactly what you don't want to do in a hard point uh but we do see this pretty important rotation here over towards this p4 we see a very interesting spawn from boone they're able to spawn kind of that back house uh that is gonna be four dead from the side of seattle they should all be spawning out uh we see call here kind of just uh in the spawns making things mixy here uh but we do see this p4 Sasuke is going to have at least the first 10 seconds here, kind of uncontested, uh, easy time. Yeah, no, the four wipe was massive from the side of Sasuke, and right now they are on the hill. Boone with a massive kill to get the player off the hill, but we've got Gan Q, and he is getting his kills left and right, able to get a hill time as well, and he's just going around. Sasuke getting the kills around him and making sure that they are able to at least soak a bit of this hill time. They're doing Phenomenal job so far. Nico with the one, though. Giving his team a chance. Can he get the second? Yes, he can. Can he break the kill? Almost does, but Shuggy's there to shut him down, and Sasuke's going to take the lead. Yeah, this has been a great hold from the side of Sasuke here. Just a couple points under that lead, uh, trying to make it even. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to do that. Looks like Seattle's going to be taking, finally crossing that 190 into that 200 point mark here and this hard point uh, we do see kind of an early rotation coming here sneep unfortunately going to lose the gunfight uh, that is going to be the majority of Sasuke here on the new hill uh, we do see kind of a 2v a 2v3 here on the new hill graph able to pick up one they do know where nick goes at they should be able to pick him up here <laughs> nick goes just gonna absolutely uh, give it to shuggy there and seattle once again able to make that early break and take that time seattle has been doing a phenomenal job on these fives their setup is really strong. They know how to spawn Sasuke outside onto that P3 and just play from bottom bridge as well as top bridge. And you've got Berserk in a very good position to pinch. He gets one and then Sneep gets the other as well. Can Berserk get the third? Get some tags in, but he's able to at least run away with his life. And then just like that, he does get the kill. And so far, so good for the side of Seattle. Very close to close to the top out. 
Yeah, Graf with a great two piece there. Unfortunately, gonna be taking or pick it up from the the rail side there. Berserk's gonna get a, another two piece on the side of that uh, for Seattle. Uh, looks like they're electing to to not take the rest of this hill time, just to start rotating rotating here towards P1. But they do need about 20 points here on P1. This is definitely still anyone's game. Uh, Sasuke's really got to make a move here, though. He'll put in a good position to watch tables. He does get the kill, and so does Boone. 10 seconds left. Seattle is so close to closing this map out, but it is Graf. Can he get the kill? No, he does get gunned down. Nico with another. Chuck is there, but Sneeper's there to clean it up. And then an unfortunate team kill, but Seattle closed it out. 250 to around 230, I believe. What a map from Seattle. Yeah, that was a, it was a good map from the side of Seattle. They were, uh, man, those those breaks were pristine. Uh, they finally figured out how to rotate pretty pretty later to destroy, set up where you needed to go. And we are hopping just straight into the search and destroy. Here on high rise, we're going to be hopping off with the perspective of Sneep from the Seattle sloss here as he's going to be hitting towards that blue side, top heli side. You got Seattle on the offensive side, which I guess you want to be on if you did take that map one where you're feeling like your guns are firing properly and then so far they're just having that top blue control but call a pooly there with the first blood and he gets the second he does see the player top blue and then another kill i believe actually no never mind it's still a 3v4 and getting q here in a good position he gets the kill and the bomb is down shaggy with another now it's all up to nico yeah unfortunate from the side of nico there uh, just kind of watching his teammates fall. And a quick reminder here is Nico's in, left in a 1v3. Very unfortunate spot. Fortunately, going to fall down. Uh, reminder to the viewers out there, the scoreboard at the top with the players' kills and deaths are going to be inaccurate. They have not fixed that yet. Uh, but the tabs kind of towards the bottom right when respectating a player are going to be correct for their kills and deaths. So make sure to, to watch out for that. Uh, players usually are, have a little bit better stat lines than it's going to show there on the top. But Nico just in an unfortunate spot there. And that's exactly the, the start you need from the side of Sasuke there. Uh, dropping, I believe, only one player. Graf was the only person to fall there, but keeping three players alive. You do see Shuggy here with a two streak here. Uh, maybe a little bit early to call. Uh, call maybe trying to get a cruise missile there, but uh, looking towards him to try to keep that streak alive. It's definitely a little soon for that, but the smoke does come in and the side of Sasuke are trying to hit that A site, trying to get that bomb down and Sneep in a good position to watch the bomb and a beautiful nade from Sneep does get the kill on Q. And right now, Sasuke is down on lives, 43, but they are able to tie it up with another kill from Shuggy going on a three streak now. Yeah, it's a big kill from the side of Shuggy there. Uh, pretty late on the trade, but it's a trade nonetheless here. We do see Nico uh, kind of getting a little bit aggressive here towards blue. And of course, you know, I, I say something and uh, Call of Booty is going to, or Call of Pooley is going to get uh, traded there out. Nico's able to pick up one. Graf able to pick up another, make this a 1v1. He spots the player top heli here. And so uh, this will be an interesting 1v1 here. We got a sub versus an AR. Uh, it's going to be really interesting. Especially that. Uh, Graf has to pick up the bomb as well and not a lot of time to work with. He is able to pick up the bomb, but uh, Nico in a good position to at least flank from either side. He doesn't get the timing though and a big kill from Graf giving his team another round. They're up 2-0 and that is a massive win from Sasuke especially after losing that first blood with getting Q, getting naded by, I think it was Nico with a beautiful first nade. Yeah, I believe it was Sneep with that big first nade towards that propane side. But, uh, you know, Graf with that Toronto Ultra sticker, he's going to win that fight all every day against that Seattle Surge came off from the side of Nico. But uh, Sasuke doing a great job, you know, getting those trades. Eventually, they weren't getting trades as quickly as they probably would have liked, but they did get those trades nonetheless. And so they're doing a good job playing together, eventually picking up trades for each other. And that's exactly what you need in Search and Destroy. 100%. And now, once again, Seattle is on the offensive side. A couple of attacks come in from the middle side. Just no kills, but tax for info. And then getting Q here in a sneaky position. To maybe watch B Street. He doesn't see Sneep, though. And Sneep is able to get that kill. Gives his team the first blood. Another man advantage for Seattle. And Graf is trying to get the trade. Can he get the trade? He gets the tags in. Is able to run away with his life. But Berserk is there. Now it's 4 to 2. Yeah, Shuggy able to pick up a kill. Call Pooley able to pick up a kill. Uh, but we see Sneep here continuing this streak for this round. Uh, able to pick up a kill. Seattle's able to put that bomb towards B. Uh, Call Pooley in a very interesting spot here. I don't think Seattle's going to 
I uh, think that he's here, but we do see Sneep with a couple shoulders. I'm not sure if he quite saw him. Berserk's definitely going to see him there, and he's unfortunately going to be taken down by Sneep from Top of Pain. And that is going to be a three streak from the side of Sneep. Uh, that is going to be Seattle eventually taking a round here, making that a, a one to two in the favor of Sasuke. Yeah, well, that's a massive from the side of Seattle, able to get that kill, especially after getting those first and second bloods and having the 4-2 advantage and then instantly getting traded out for a 2v2 able to make it a 2v1 get the bomb down play post plant and that's exactly what they did massive round from seattle not letting it get away from them and right now if you're sasuke you just want to keep on hitting you want to keep on attacking the way you've been able to and make sure you don't lose those first floods like you did on those previous two rounds yeah first bloods here in search destroyer massive thing we see graph with another First blood here from the side of Sasuke. It just makes it really difficult from the side of Seattle. And I doubt Graf checks this here. Uh, he's going to get shotgunned a little bit by the rival nine there towards B Street. Uh, Berserk eventually able to tie it up for his team here. Uh, able to make this a 3v3 here as we see. Uh, Boone finally able to pick up a kill there towards Heli Stairs. Not going to get traded out. Sneep's going to have the cover there. Getting Q's going to pick up one. Uh, Sneep knows exactly where he's at. He should be able to at least engage a gunfight here. Uh, and there he is, going to take a, pick up that kill on getting Q towards that April Pain side. And Sasuke getting another 2v1. This time they did lose the first blood, but they were able to play that man advantage, make it a 3v1. Q got one, but his location was revealed. And then Sneep just able to get that final kill on Q, give his team the advantage. And just like that, they tie it up 2-2. Two to two. They are on the offensive side as well. And right now, Seattle, the way they're playing is... Most of the kills that they're getting are untraded kills. They're able to isolate those players and get those kills. Berserk with a massive kill on that B Street as well to at least tie up the life count. And then so we're looking for Seattle to just keep on doing what they are. But if you're Sasuke, you need to trade those kills. You need to make sure that when you drop, when those players die, that you are able to at least trade your teammates. And we saw Sasuke doing a great job of that the first two rounds. Uh, we have not seen him do that great of a job the last two rounds on those trades. And, uh, you know, from Search and Destroy, it's very important to get those trades. We do see uh, Shuggy able to pick up one, but we do see Ber Berserk right there for the trade. Uh, but he's not going to get it. He is going to back off as he spotted from that player pit. So uh, there should be some information from the side of Sasuke. I believe getting Q was able to spot him. Kalapuli able to pick up at least one kill towards the side of Propane. We do see Sneep here trying to get a little bit aggressive. Uh, but Boone is going to be able to pick up Kalapuli on that Propane side. And we're left uh, temporarily with a, a 3v2 from the side of Sasuke, but Sneep's able to even it up. Uh, 2v2, we do see a fight coming down here at Green Fence. And Shuggy with a massive kill right there on Boone. Gives his uh, players the advantage, but Sneep gets one, and now it's a 1v1. Bomb is down on B as well, so Sneep has to pick it up and get uh, the plant down. He has 25 seconds left, but if you're Shuggy, you're reading this. You know that he's going to come from that top blue side. Unless he just misses the timing there. Does Sneep see him? No, he doesn't. He still has to pick up the bomb. 15 seconds left. He's going to hop on it right now. He has to get that plant down. And if you're Shuggy, you're just going all the way around. You might get the beautiful timing here. Going up from Pit. Gets the tags in. And just like that, wins the 1v1. Sasuke up 3-2. to two. And those are some... You know, we get the ability to see those see those players through walls, and those were some terrible COD timings on the side of both players there, uh, just not being able to, to spot those players through the fences. But a uh, great play from the side of Shuggy, able to stay alive there after he's getting those kills. Uh, but Sneep did go massive for his team. They are able to pick up three kills on the round uh, each time, uh, making a little bit better life advantage for his team. Almost able to clutch that 1v2, but not quite. Uh, we do see him and shuggy here is kind of the powerhouses for their team on the search to destroy but sasuke able to come back after losing two rounds in a row able to pick up that fifth round uh they've taken this three two heading into round six and we've seen this cross map gunfight happen often and then the unfortunate propane kill on boone chuggy with one berserk able to trade now it's a 3v2 life advantage for the side of sasuke the stun comes in so they know there's a player playing in that pit and then now they're going to chase for him. Call a pulley. Can he get the timing? Yes, he can. It's a 3v1. Sneep in a 1v3 situation. Very tough for him. But he is 9-3 and three so far. Doing a great job. So if anyone can do it, it's definitely going to be Sneep. Yeah, if there's one player you want on this job, it's definitely Sneep here. And I'm uh, not sure if he's able to, to see that player. Unfortunately, he's going to gonna fall there to the player in elevators. But, man, it's it's the reason that people hate High Rise right there. That, that self-kill on that propane. Uh not really sure how that happened. We're never really sure how it happens on this high-rise map. You could be across the map and die to your own propane. Uh, but if you're laying right on top of it, 
you probably don't die. And so uh, unfortunate there from the side of Seattle, but it is the map and uh, everybody has to play with it. Yeah. And then another uh, two round advantage now for the side of Sasuke once again, able to at least get those around kills. And I do believe that Sneep does have a crew to work with, which we might see him use sometime soon. The tags come in so they know that they did exit through that right side window, but no info coming here and then the smoke comes in a couple of tags here and there hit markers as well and we're looking at seattle here they look like they want to do a b hit can he get the timing he was able to escape with his life and right now shaggy with the first blood that is massive for the side of sasuke yeah shaggy's been going huge for his team in that first blood department uh, able to pick up another one there. Call of Puli, unfortunately not able to pick one up. Nico with a huge two-piece for his team there. Uh, able to take it from a, a life disadvantage to a life advantage here. And we see Graf here uh, getting watching the flank here. Boone able to pick up one right before that. Is going to be a 1v2 here from the side of Graf. He does spot one player towards mid. Doesn't know that the other player is there. Just sitting right outside of mid fence. Uh, but we do see Graf here uh, making a rotate here. Does he read this player mid underneath of him? I, I doubt it. Uh, but he is going to be going top heli. Uh, let's see if he can spot any players. He can get this first kill. This is going to be huge, but able to get the trade. Seattle doing a great job of playing that cross, make sure to get those trades. And Graf was weak in that situation, so it was very difficult for him to get the kill and just run away with his life. Right here, Berserk gets the timing. All he needs is just one tag, gets the kill on Graf. And from what we've seen from map one as well as map two, Graf seems to be like a slow starting player where. He doesn't do so well towards the first half of the map, but then picks it up. And that's exactly what he's been doing so far. Did not have a good start on Vista or on this high rise. But right now he is firing on all cylinders, helping his team. 43 advantage for the side of Sasuke, and they are on the offensive side. And Sasuke doing uh, kind of not what they wanted. You know, they started off with that two point lead here in the search and destroy. They did lose two rounds in a row, even that up, and they were able to take the next two rounds and make that 4-2. We do see a Christmas look coming down here from Sneep. Uh, he's going to be looking for this player in the spawn here. He is going to be able to pick up Kitten Q. I'm sure he's very surprised that he just died from a Christmas loan spawn there. Uh, but great play from the side of Sneep. It's going to take him up to 10-5. and five. And uh, Seattle here on the defending side, uh, he's going to have an idea where players are, maybe a little bit late at this point, but uh, we do see... Uh, I believe that is Shuggy here taking a, a massive wrap here. So he could come up with some big kills. That's going to be one. We're going to see Graf with a kill on Berserk as well. That's going to even it up to be a, a 3v2 here from the side of Sasuke. That is unfortunately going to be a 1v3 here from the side of Nico. Uh, he's able to spot one player. He's able to get him uh, making this a 1v2. But Sasuke's able to close that out, get the trade. And that's exactly what we wanted from Sasuke is to be able to play together and get those trades. This is exactly what happens here. Nico is able to get that first kill, but he was weak and Chuggy in a good position to get the trade. Does so. And just like that, another two round lead for Sasuke, but they are also on match point or map point. This will give them a huge advantage if they can uh, cut it down to one and one on maps as opposed to going down to O oh, against Seattle. If you're Seattle here, you have to win these next rounds. You said it right there. They, they got to win these or you're going down uh, back one to one of the for the series count here. We do see an early nade from the side of Berserk getting a little bit of tag. So we know that there's going to be people towards that B side. Uh, we do see Nico with an early kill with Call of Puli, uh, Puli eventually uh, getting that traded. Then Shuggy there able to pick up another one. Give the give his team a life advantage. Berserk is able to spot Shuggy. Not able to get any uh, bullets on him. Does eventually connect here gonna be shooting the barrel and that's gonna be berserk left with a 1v3 here uh to keep his team alive in the search and destroy he's able to pick up one he is able to pick up two on getting q he is left in a 1v1 against call of Pooley here and berserk has done a great job so far he has the bomb as well so he's free to move wherever he wants can he get the timing here on call of Pooley? unfortunate there they're all both on b street and then as soon as they look away they don't see each other, and just like that, the timing from Call of Puli able to close that out. Berserk was going to clutch that 1v3, but great job from Sasuke there in a 6-3 to three on round, taking that map to and even up the series 1-1. to one. Great map out of the side of Sasuke there, doing exactly what they need to do. It's going to be a little bit easier here. And so, you know, I'm looking at Seattle here to, to come off strong. Uh, 
right here in this high rise control. Shout out to getting Q with all that thick drift. I don't know how he gets those kills. His controller is just moving back and forth. And then trade's just coming in, and that's exactly how it usually starts with a two for two trade, and then it's all up to who gets the other kills graph with one and just like that. Kasky is hopping on the B point. Can Kuala Puli get the kill here? No, he can't. But the ticks is coming in. They're halfway through B now. Yeah, that's, it's a great move from the, the side of Sasuke there. Get on the point early. We do see two kills coming in from the side of Seattle. Unfortunately, uh, Call is going to be taken down there on the B point. They're not going to be able to get that TIG. Seattle is going to be able to take that down. We do see Boone here in the spawn. That's two big kills here. Unfortunately, doesn't see the third uh, crossing the B street, but uh, Sneep has got that picked up, and that's going to be four down from the side of Sasuke. Everyone in spawn here. This is exactly what the side of Seattle needed here. Just set up the spawn trap early here. And, uh, you know, early off, we didn't see... We just saw kind of some trades back and forth between both teams here and Sasuke. Uh, you know, I think hopping on that point, it's a, a pretty interesting play here. You know, Graf uh, using that barrel to his advantage there, able to take Berserk down off uh, top heli. That's a, a great power position, so they're starting to work out of their spawn. Like Q with a massive two piece, able to hop on the point, stop the clock. They're going to go for B again. They want to at least get those six and at least maybe get three ticks in. If you can get three ticks in on an offensive round on high rise, that is. Pretty successful round, and Chuggy able to get another kill Berserk there on mid, though. Trying to get one. Chuggy there with the trade. Can Q get the second? Yes, he can. Can he get the third? That is massive. Q going huge here. Five and four to start, and B is going to be locked down. Getting Q more like getting K for those kills, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, absolutely terrible joke. Feel free to laugh at that point. But getting <laughs> Q is uh, getting involved here on high rise, getting a little bit in their spawn, a little bit in their face with that rival nine. Uh, unfortunately going to fall there to sneak but graf does he does get that trade there uh for getting q and they, they do have a little bit of map presence here we do see uh seattle here we do see someone top blue we see someone top heli uh call and uh co are just kind of holding that other side of the map keeping those players off spawn but uh, we do see some pushes coming in here from the side of seattle to take him off that a point uh, we do see a couple other gunfights going down here and things are this is where things get very chaotic on high risk control you have a couple people in and out of spawn a uh, couple people mid map and so it's just important for that offensive side keep people up do not die if you're up on that map uh, if you're stuck in your spawn you really need to work out uh, unfortunately we do see a team kill coming there from the side of call uh, but Sasuke starting to work their way out of spawn yeah, 11 to 2 on life count is not where you want to be if you're the side of Sasuke. But Call of Fooly is able to get one there. It's all up to Shuggy here. Can he get at least a couple of kills? Maybe just remove their kill streaks, but no. Seattle able to shut them down on that defensive round. Sasuke, though, you have to be at least somewhat satisfied with getting those three ticks on B. That it does add to at least potentially getting defense on that round five and. So far, so good for the side of Seattle. You do lose B, but it doesn't matter. You're up on lives by a lot, and you have potential streaks as well to work with. Sneep is 9 and 7. He's 2 away from that cruise. So a lot of kills coming here for the side of Seattle. Doing a great job. If you're Sasuke, though, you have to answer back on this defense. Sasuke's got to do a, a good job playing defense here. You know, Seattle, we see a, a pretty... Uh, an interesting a hit here they're just gonna try to flood out of blue here we do see someone top heli graph and getting q able to pick up two uh we do see boone here with the flank here able to get shots on the first one shots on the second one able to get two down shots on the third but call Puli able here uh to pick up pick up a big two piece here getting q uh trying to fight long distance with the rival uh not gonna work out too well for him but we do see a little bit of mixy high-rise control here again uh, just kind of like we always do we do see seattle eventually finally hopping on this point able to pick up two kills but then we're going to see some trades coming down from the side of Sasuke. i like the approach that seattle has here where they're just slaying it out and then they're touching time here and there and making sure to at least pause the clock to their advantage and make try and play that life count um game but shuggy with the nade and graph with another and that's four down a two piece from each this is massive if you're sasuke able to get them off the point have them spawn all the way back and now go for that spawn trap set up Sh uh, shuggy and call a pulley with kills as well wow what a great uh hold so far from sasuke and you know what they say the guns aren't hot 
the nades are. Uh, Seattle obviously not having a trophy down there on point. Those three kills go down for the nades is absolutely massive on that B side. Getting Q uh, again, uh, getting involved here on this B point. Uh, Force will be taken down by Berserk there. Does get an important kill. That time is going to be stopped there on the B side. We do see two players uh, kind of on that B side. The other two players are off spawn, just kind of hold off uh, Sasuke from getting those pushes in. We do see Boone and Nico able to pick up two kills. Sneep. Sneak able to pick up kind of the last one, able to make that both of the last kills. And that's going to be Sloss here. Uh, they have the ability to kind of put the, the Sasuke Shotgunners in a little bit of a spawn trap here on the offensive side. This is such a back and forth round so far where both teams are getting four wipes after four wipes. And so far, Seattle is up on life count by four lives. Q here with a massive kill, able to stop time as well. Shuggy hopping on. Can he get the skill? No, he can't. That's another big kill from Sneep from Berserk and just giving their team the advantage. Make it 10 to 6 on life count, but Berserk, two unfortunate team kills as well, but does get one. The propane tanks, they're just doing what they usually do. So far, Seattle has four kills and then another teammate plus the self kill. What is going on with Seattle right now? Yeah, Seattle, we're seeing some uh, some of this high rise coming into action here with some team kills <coughs> from the guns, but also from the propanes. <coughs> we do see the side of Sasuke here getting a little bit aggressive. We do see that life count is four to six. Uh, so this is looking like it's going to come down to a search and destroy here. That's exactly what Sasuke's telling each other. They do make that life count even here as Seattle really has to make the move. Uh, we do see another gunfight going down. That's going to be four, three from the side of Sasuke here. And all they really have to do is let those players funnel towards them. Uh, getting Q might have that sound EQ a little too high here, here in this person green fence. And it feels like it's a 5v4 so far on this high rise with Sasuke having the advantage of those high rise propane tanks, giving them the advantage, making it a 3v3 right now. But no time left for Seattle. You have to hop on the time and graph with one. Shuggy knows where another is, making it a 3v1. It is all up to the last player from Seattle, but Sasuke able to hold off thanks to the gods from High Rise. Yeah, the High Rise gods always kind of looking out for you there. Uh, but Graf just able to get that great kill towards barrels. Uh, Sasuke unfortunately going to give up. I believe that was four ticks there uh, for the side of Seattle. So good job done uh, from the side of Seattle. Uh, but Sasuke able to win that round on the defensive side. So let's see if they can come here uh, with an offensive side control win. Sasuke is down four to three on ticks. So you got to keep that in mind when you're going into this offensive round here is getting three is probably not going to be enough. You might want to aim for five and six, obviously, if you can win that round. But you would definitely be very satisfied with those five and then sneak with a propane kill. I mean, high rise. It seems like the propanes are defensive uh, favored where the defensive team just has an extra player helping them and we sort of feel it right now seattle doing a great job after getting those initial kills and then berserk almost gets a two-piece getting q though able to turn on him and then boom with one sneak with the other seattle hopping on that b point like they did earlier on that first round trying to secure those ticks and nico with a massive kill yeah, and Seattle doing a great job so far. We're just really playing uh, defensive heavy, able to to knock Sasuke off of that B point initially, just able to hold off the second wave here. But we do see from the side of Sasuke that is going to be three dead, uh, three kills from the side of Sasuke. They are going to pick up the fourth here. That is all four dead off of spawn. Uh, we have, two, I believe, two players on from the side of Sasuke on this B point. That's going to be the first tick down. And Sasuke just doing a great job here, hiding, kind of taking that point, able to get some of these kills towards left window. Shuggy able to pick up one, not able to pick up the second. And Sneep with a massive two-piece here, the time is contested, he does hop on it. Getting Q though, able to get those kills, can he get the second? No boon is there for the trade. The ticks are coming in for the side of Sasuke, but Seattle able to hold off here. Can Berserk get that second kill? Sasuke has to hop on the point. They have to hop on it right now. Not a lot of time left. Berserk with one, Nickel with the other. Life advantage for Seattle, up by six so far. Q though, able to stop the clock. Shug is on it, Q is on it as well. Sneep trying to at least hop on it. It is contested. The kills are there. Nickel with the two piece, cleans it out. 19 seconds left. Boone with one. Can Nickel get the third? Graf is there, Graf gets two. 
graph going absolutely massive there on the end point with those two points. Uh, looking like he might be able to secure this A point for his team. This at least his first tick. That is going to be the first tick down at A. Uh, still on A. Haven't killed him. Uh, Call, unfortunately, not able to pick up that kill. Graph is unfortunately going to go down on that A point. Getting Q, able to pick up one. Uh, still up on that B point here where he brought a uh, quarter of the way through this last tick, and this is going to be big here from the side of getting Q. They're going to be attacking uh, through the middle of the map. He's going to be looking for that. We do see Graph with one big kill, uh, able to hold him off. Getting Q absolutely turns on somebody. Not going to get that cell tower win. Shuggy is going to come in for that. They are going to get that B point capture. They do have two ticks on A and more as we speak here. We do have Graph just chilling on the A point. Shuggy with a massive kill does get traded out by Boone, but the nade from Q. Can he get the second? Yes, he can. Snoop does get all of Pooley, but getting Q is getting some. Closes it out. Wow. That is massive for the side of Zaski to be able to close it out. Being down, I think, around seven or eight on lives and just getting those kills. Q going massive in this round. Shout out our cast Q. I mean... We haven't really been seeing him a lot in that first map one and two, but he's been showing up on that map three. Yeah, Q going absolutely massive there. Uh, man, I see what you're talking about Look with the stick, stick drift. drift here. This dude is this dude is just uh, he's really activating that aim assist there. You know, if you, you need a little bit of stick drift there, uh, kind of activates aim assist all the time. Maybe that's what he's been doing here. Um, holy cow, this man has 48 engagements through the first three map or three rounds here on control. This dude's just running at everything right now, and he's on a <laughs> 10 objective kills uh great so far from the side of getting q but uh, we do see the side of seattle here kind of favoring towards this a site here they are able to hop on start this progress and stop the clock a little bit here as we have boone uh call of Pudi, unfortunately going to take uh boone down from the side of seattle here when you see seattle kind of here just at a stalemate towards this helicopter side i love the way shuggy's playing right now just that top loop area getting those kills closing it out q with one boone able to trade them out but it is even on lives and so far seattle has been unable to hop on either a or b boone looking for that a point trying to get a couple of kills before he hops on it but graph is there does get the kill nico able to get a kill on uh getting q and is able to hop on that b point as well shuggy with the uh, tags coming here and there and a three y for seattle this is huge for them they are able to stack that B point as well. So first tick is in. They need two more ticks to close out B and get that extra minute. And they are up on lives. Seattle doing a good job so far. Uh, I feel like every single time I, I grab the mic to start talking, uh, somebody on the side of Saski is able to pick up multiple kills here. And that's exactly what happened from the side of Graf. Uh, call able to pick up another call, able to pick up another. As I'm saying it here, uh, these players are turning me into a liar here, only saying they're picking up one player. But we do see Call at Green Fence, unfortunately going to uh, get taken down by Sneep there. We do see Berserk with a two, a big two piece here on this B side. Uh, there's not going to be anyone else there to contest. This should be B secured here in Seattle. If they want to get defensive side, uh, if they want to stay alive in this map, they do need to win this offensive side. If they win, uh, they will be host having a defensive side. Uh, Stasky's only up two ticks on them. Uh, but again, they need this round win just to make it to a round five. And this is where I want some listen-ins from the CRL. I mean, I would love to know what Sasuke is doing to be able to deal with this pressure from Seattle. Shuggy with one, getting Q with another, but Nico with a two-piece for him, uh, for his team, making it 29 and 23 on his KD so far. I able to hop the point, stop the time, 11 to 6 on lives. You're Seattle, you have all the time to work with. Shuggy with the flank, Q with one as well, making it 9-5 to five on lives. It is still very doable if you're the side of Sasuke, but you can't lose any lives here, and you need to stop the clock as well. Yeah, and I mean, if you're the side of Sasuke, you know, you're looking at this life count. Uh, if you're, you know, unfortunately, if you, you find a timer, you can't win this, you just want to give your lives away here. Uh, that kind of secures it for you. You're still up on ticks. Uh, you're up one tick here, but we do see the life count going down to four, seven from the side of Sasuke. Uh, we did see this, uh, I believe it was round round one or round two there where uh, Sasuke was able to come from a pretty decent life advantage down there. I believe they're down four, seven, just like they were. And now we see a four, four life advantage. A four, or, four life four, advantage. A four, four, yeah. This is massive for Sasuke being able to bring it down here and Chuck in a good position. Can he get one? He does get instantly traded out, but that's a 3v2 now. So Seattle does have the advantage, but Call of Pooley in a good position to watch top blue and Graf with one. Pooley has to get this kill. Makes it a 1v1. Graf versus 
Seattle and Graf is able to close it out while Seattle take map three, three to one and make it two to one on that map count. What a comeback from Seattle, from Saski. Yeah, Saski doing a great job in that control there. Uh, getting Q just really, uh, you know, I'm going to say it again, getting in. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are in here to this Karachi hard point here. Uh, we are seeing Shuggy look behind him. He might be scared of a monster chasing him, and that's going to be getting to you <laughs> after that last map here. But we are seeing uh, Karachi P1 here. It's going to be a mixy hill here. We do see Berserk with a great uh, two-piece. Unfortunately, going to run out of ammo, and his rival nine is able to pick up that third one. Unfortunately, going to fall down uh, to the side of Sasuke there via Graf. And we do see Seattle here with initial control here of this p1 uh we are seeing a little bit of a rotation here towards the fire side of fire from the side of Saski. they really need this p2 uh, they are spawning on the unfortunate side of that p3 uh, but we do need to get started rotating over to that cafe and boom getting really aggressive to start for the side of seattle almost flipping spawns but able to at least make sure that the side of seattle has a little bit of time on this p1 before the push comes in from Saski and then berserk in a very good position to watch the cutoff from those p3 spawns for p2 seattle with 40 seconds on p1 as well as rotations but shuggy's there with the flank can he get the second no he does get gunned down by sneak berserk with one graf is there now graf top fire it's all up to him and q to be able to break this p2 before the teammates come in but sneak and boone able to close it out seattle doing a phenomenal job so far yeah the side of seattle is doing doing great here holding these hard points here we saw this on the vista uh that they're able to break these points and then hold them for the majority of the time. And so as long as they can get those rotations, which they were really lacking uh, map one on getting rotations, we saw Saski doing a great job of getting really early rotations. So it's good to see the side of Seattle adapting a little bit here, knowing that they need to hop on those rotations a little early. And, you know, as we say it, uh, we do have Sneet back here in this Ben J spot. Uh, unfortunate jump up spot there, but we do see this side of Sasuke there. Are just trying to bust through that chicken side. Uh, we do see Nico uh, and Sneet kind of here holding down the back side here, but uh, the Sasuke players are falling kind of one by one. They are spawning pretty deep here, uh, so it's going to be unfortunate from their side. We do see Sneet with another great kill uh, towards the chicken steps here. We do see the side of Sasuke so far uh, with control this hill, and you know, right as I say something, uh, it's going to be a pretty mixy P3. You've been on point with Caster Cursing tonight, Wolfie. I mean, <laughs> able to call Seattle to take map one and lose it. And then whenever you say a team has control of a hill, they end up dying on it. Uh, if you're the side of Seattle or Sasuke, I think they want you to be casting against them. And also, shout out to Benjay Nassim. I mean, to be able to have a call out named after you is massive on this game. We've always heard about those um, accuracy um, callouts where Yalos has a tank and it's always uh, this tank or that tank for accuracy, but Benji getting his own, his own call out without even being a challenger player is massive. Fingers crossed one day I'll get my own call out as well. Um, but Seattle doing a phenomenal job. 120 to 5. Uh, you know, Blipsy, we do have callouts for you in the game, but unfortunately, you <laughs> cannot be uh, cannot be saying those on the casting desk here. We do see Sasuke with a couple early points here on this pretty mixy street P4 here. Uh, we see Call of Duty back towards White Van, uh, able to pick up Miko on point, unfortunately going to fall. Uh, and man, this kill feed is full of eight players here. Really hard to, to keep up with this side. That's but we P4 do see Seattle. Is, oh yeah, P4 is always really mixy. You never really know what's going on here, uh, but Seattle here able to pick up at least a good 20 seconds here, uh, kind of looking to extend that. We do see one last player here from the side of Sasuke. Uh, he is top church. He is going to fall. Uh, that was Shuggy, but we do see Sasuke here on this rotation. As long as they're able to pick up these kills, they should be pick They should be able to pick up at least the first few seconds of P5 here. And man, if you if you look at that scoreboard, it's it's not looking good from the side of Sasuke. Absolutely not. And a little appreciation for Berserk. Going 10 and 4 with a minute 30 on hill is not an easy task, especially on a map like Karachi where everyone's just trying to flood the hill and trying to get those kills. Sasuke finally in some sort of control for this B5 and from what I've seen from the chat so far, they do believe that um, Cooley is that type of player that sort of can take over a map and, and can give his team the W here and... So far, he does get the kill, so that's a good start for him. But if you're Sasuke, you have to win this B5 and every hill afterwards to at least tie up. 
Yeah, if you you are the side of Sasuke, um, it's a it's you gotta hold P5, you gotta hold P1, you gotta hold P2, and then if you do all that, you're finally back in the game, and you know that is a pretty hard thing to do for our crotch, especially P1. Uh, not necessarily the easiest thing to hold, especially for like a, a full good 40 seconds or so. Uh, but every single second that they give up to Seattle here is going to be pretty detrimental uh, towards the long run on this map. They're already down by so much heading into the second rotation uh, that really any mistake here is just going to allow Seattle to continue to build that lead. And, you know, Seattle's not too many points off of just one good hold ending the game. Uh, and so this is this is a pretty important time for the side of Saski here. If you play in the silver pre-made North Division, do not play Karachi against Seattle. This, this seems like it's their map. They're doing a phenomenal job so far. And Sasuke getting those kills, so at least bringing it back a little bit, one hill at a time. But Seattle, they're just so dominant on this map. They Their setups are good, their breaks are brilliant, and then their rotations are so good as well. And the kill feed is all blue right now. Seattle able to take scraps and maybe potentially get those rotations. Kalapuli able to get one, but there's two more. Sneep is there for the trade. Seattle on scraps as well as rotations. This is not good for the side of Saskia. Yeah, and some, some good points from the side of Saskia. They were able to hold about the first 40 seconds of P1, uh, but unfortunately not able to get that P2 as we see Sneep go absolutely massive here towards the side of Bus. Berserk able to pick up a third, and that's going to be kind of all four players off spawn. They are spawning in the back now, uh, kind of just getting put in that dumpster blender here, uh, getting queued is able to pick up one kill here but it's gonna be very difficult to get over those uh trash cans you know as i say that uh, here he is getting through unfortunately uh going to die there uh, I don't but we do see Sasuke. This, this might be a hundred point club map yeah it, it's getting pretty close here to this seattle's doing a great job here it looks like they're not giving up p2 at all uh we do see still a couple fights going down here it does look like the last 20 seconds or so may go towards the side of Sasuke. Yeah, we're going to see that go towards the side of Sasuke last 15 or so. Uh, like I said, if you look at that scoreboard, 15 seconds means absolutely nothing in the side of Seattle. Uh, they can give you the next three pretty much complete hills, uh, and there's they're still fine. So uh, Seattle's just looking here to get early rotations, get some early time. Uh, you really only need like 10 or 15 seconds from the next quite a few hills to even put this away. And so uh, we do see Seattle here crossing that 220 mark. Uh, they can end it here on P3. Graft doing a good job of getting those initial two kills, but does get traded out. And then Shuggy here in a good position. The Katess comes in. Q is able to break the hill. And Shuggy is able to get those rotation kills. Sasuke doing a good job on breaking this P3, but Seattle is still spawning all the way back through junk and trying to get at least uh, uh, the side of Sasuke off of this hill or get the contests in. Zerk does a good job, but Graf is able to get the trade. Sneep is there. Sneep is having a wonderful map so far. Chuggy there as well. Can he get the kill? Call of Pool is there for the assist. But Seattle is only 20 points away from closing out this map four and taking it to a map five. Yeah, and shout out to Sasuke for finally crossing that 100 point line. Uh, you know, you're not going to get called out in general chat for getting 100 point club <laughs> on stream. Uh, but, you know, still. Uh, you are down by quite a lot. That is a great three piece from the side of Sasuke. It looks like we're finally starting to wake up here on the side of Sasuke. Uh, they are forcing Seattle to spawn towards that P2 or P3 side, excuse me. And, uh, you know, from from our perspective, it's not really the place you want to be spawning. You get top third control, top chicken control, uh, but they are able to pick up the first quite, quite a few mini kills here. Uh, and, you know, the side of Sasuke, you need to hold this one. And you really need the next one. If you can hold both of those, maybe only give up two or three seconds on each of those, which is very difficult to do. Uh, you put yourself right back in this game. We do see one team nade coming through. Uh, it's going to help the side of Sasuke here. No one on time. You really need to be on time to collect that. As we see the side of Seattle here, uh, everybody but one person giving up, going to next, getting rotated towards that P5. Yeah, Seattle doing a beautiful job so far of making sure that at least get that p5 rotations in and we've seen them hold p5 decently well i guess Sasuke was able to break it last time but seattle does have a proper setup on it right now and kalapuli on the flank he gets one grab with a second that is a big break nico there though able to contest he gets a two piece breaks the hill and then seattle side of seattle are spawning p2 the cruise is in if you're seattle right here you have to break this p5 you can't let Sasuke get very close on uh, the uh, score and if Sasuke is able to get those last 35 seconds they're going to be within 20 points or so moving on to that p1 
Yeah, and Seattle have not touched the point since P3, so this is pretty big here from the side of uh, their perspective. Berserks are going to fall from that top bedroom side. We do see fights coming down here towards P1. Uh, pretty early rotation from the side of Seattle. They do need this time. Uh, you know, last time we saw this, we saw Sasuke hold 40 seconds uh, of that time on P1, and you're going to need to do exactly that and probably a little bit better here. If you give Seattle 22 seconds of time, this map is going to be over. Uh, but, you know, it's not going to end here on P1, I believe. I believe we're probably going to be seeing a P2 from the side of Sasuke if we do anything. Uh, but we do see Seattle on this point. Yeah, unless Seattle is able to hold this and they're doing a good job so far. The Tracer coming in and then Boone with a massive kill as well. Nine seconds away. Seattle can close this out. Sneep with another five, four, three, two, one. Seattle closes it out. 250 to 190. Seattle did win that map, but I can't help but feel like Sasuke ended up being the winners of that map for. I mean, to be able to come back from being down around 150 or so is huge for the side of Sasuke. ERL fans, we got ourselves a map 5 on 6 star. This is the first SND I get to cast on, and I don't have a lot of experience playing this map either on Search and Destroy, so I'm excited to see how this goes. First blood is definitely going to be very important, and subs do have a lot of um, routes to run. And then Nico with one, Shuggy there for the trade, so it's the 3v3. Bomb is going down on B, so that's a big for Sasuke to start. Yeah, we see a lot of teams here. I've uh, been doing some analysis of this. Heading towards that B side, uh, we don't see any teams in that that bar towards the side of hut, but we do see a lot of, you know, on the CDL side, a lot of teams playing towards the hut side, playing in the hut. Uh, we do see Sasuke here uh, doing a great job of playing up towards that P3, uh, towards that wooden stairs, able to pick up a pick. Uh, Sneep, unfortunately, going to fall towards that P2 side. Berserk here, kind of in the middle here, going to throw a uh, smoke as a last-ditch effort here. As we hear the DJ in the background here, uh, we do see a 1v1 here from the side of Shuggy. He's unfortunately going to pick him up on the bomb there. Great round from the side of Sasuke. Shuggy doing his best Blubsy impression where he doesn't see the player at first, but gets a call out from his teammates that he's on the bomb, he's on the bomb, and gets the kill. And just like that, able to close out that first offensive round. This is huge for the side of Sasuke. We've seen what they can do on SND, winning 6-3 on high rise. But this is unknown territory. This is 6-star SND where we haven't seen anyone getting reps on this map so far. So we don't know what to expect. But if you're Shuggy going 3-0 to start, you have to be a little confident. Yeah, Sh Shuggy doing a great job. You know, I'm going to say it exactly to hear him here, just like we saw last time. We're looking for him to get that cruise missile and search and destroy. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we got to make it even a little bit on the side of Seattle here. But uh, we do see Seattle here looking towards his A hit. This is a full eight person on a absolute bang out here. I love here. it. Um, this is exactly what we want to see from search and destroy. Just absolute chaos here. Uh, some shots going down both sides, but no kills so far. We do see... Uh, called looking towards that that bottom side no players are going to hit that route just yet uh but teams here we do see these nasty head glitches here on these stairs uh i believe that was shuggy able to get out towards you nico uh gonna get a little bit aggressive here but the side of seattle they do have this bomb site kind of locked down i believe bomb is being planted right now uh, that is going to be bombed down from the side of seattle here so it's going to be a tough retake from the side of Sasky. uh Unfortunately, don't know if you're going to see this player behind the box. Shuggy does not. I was, oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Shuggy with the absolute uh, shotgun there with the rival, but Seattle able to pick up that round with a couple man life advantage there. And, uh, you know, this is what we're seeing from six star post plan, especially on this A side pretty chaotic you know players just kind of kind of rushing out taking those quick gunfights and you know we saw an eight stack uh from both teams on that a side so it was really interesting to see that round go that far down without some kills going down but we'll see uh getting q looking towards the floor here looking to get down uh, <laughs> with that stick drift man um anyone in the crl we can start a, a gofundme here for getting yeah, to get a brand say. new controller here that is just absolutely terrible here uh but we are seeing another an a hit here from the side of Sasuke. they're not going to go towards that b side seattle's going to get the call out we're going to see all those arrows starting to look towards that a side the nades come in berserk with one and boone with the other give his team the advantage we'll call a pool he's there able to get a trade and then graph with two 
kills, making it a 2v1. Sasuke with the advantage when it comes to the amount of players. And then he closes it out. What a round from Graf. He got a two-piece and then the third so easily. It seems like this is more of an offensive-sided map on that search and destroy. Or at least what we've seen so far from these two teams. I don't have a lot of experience on this map, so I don't know if it's a defensive heavy map or an offensive heavy map. But, wow. Great job from Sasuke on that two offensive rounds and a great job from Seattle on their offensive rounds. So if you're Seattle here, you need to clap back and you need to make sure to hit A or B aggressively and get that bomb down and play that post plant. Also, I've noticed on that A site, um, trophies are massive. To have a trophy down because the nade spam is big. And once again, another A hit from the side of Seattle. Looking for a bang out here. Yeah, and Seattle's, they're really have, favoring heavy towards that A side. Uh, teams, you know, brand new map, not really sure what to do here, especially in Search and Destroy, you know. Uh, we kind of mentioned a few times, teams probably aren't getting a lot of reps here. So this is just kind of classic Search and Destroy where just kind of maybe running with your head down a little bit, uh, just trying to get picks when you can, uh, but just being aggressive overall. And Nico able to great get a great two-piece here. And he's able to beat off Q a little bit there uh, in the bottom tunnel there. It's going to be all three dead uh, from the side of Sasuke, from the guns and fists of Nico here. Uh, we do see Graf here on the flank here. He might catch these players a little bit off guard as the bomb's going down on A. Uh, Berserk able to spot him, taking a couple shots here from the side of Graf. Uh, but that's going to be bomb going down here on A. Let's see if Graf can take this retake 1v2. And right now, a very tough situation for Graf, and he does go for that repositioning, which you should do after getting those tags in. But if you're the side of Seattle, you have to start looking. Where is Graf coming from? You haven't seen him, and he's on the flank. He gets the timing on one, gets the tags in, hit markers galore, but unable to get the kill. Gets one. Can he get the second? He gets a lot of tags in as well. Goes for the chase, gets the kill. Graf clutches up. More than enough time to get the defuse. And Sasuke make it three to one. I mean, Graf, what a play from him. Yeah, a what a great. Too. Absolutely huge from the side of Graf there. One off of a cruise missile, able to clutch that 1v2. And man, you know, Graf really just made, honestly, what I'd call probably the predictable play there on that mm. search with wrapping all the way back to their spawn in the side of Seattle. Uh, you're just kind of caught with your pants down. Both players look in the same direction. Uh, and Graf just able to, to come from uh, the back and get shots on both of you. Looked a little bit mixy there, but Graf was able to pick up both those kills as we are looking for him to get this cruise missile. Uh, you know, the cruise missile can get a little bit iffy here on six star. You spawn that in and you just take it right into the Tower of Pisa uh, or the Eiffel Tower. Uh, unfortunately, lose that cruise missile pretty early on. But we do see a little bit of aggression coming here towards the, the gold side with Shuggy and Nico. Uh, Shuggy able to pick up that kill as we see Sasuke. Heading over towards that B side as Call is able to pick up another kill on that hut. That is a free site for the side of Sasuke. Bomb going down here. Uh, 2v4 retake from the side of Seattle. Berserk, can he get the kill? He does. He gives his team at least a little bit of hope in this round, but they do know where he is if you're the side of Sasuke and they're holding that P3. Unfortunate timing here, and they do leave that P3, so Boone. Might be able to go through that P1. Graf with another does get the cruise. This is massive for him. A 3v1. All up to Boone here on that P3 flank. And might be red. Graf does see him. Graf having a phenomenal map so far. He gets the tags in. Jumps up. Can he get the kill? No. Boone is able to close it out. But not a lot of time left. He has to hop on the bomb. And Sasuke do the right play. Which is just play back. Watch bomb. Make sure he doesn't get the defuse. Sasuke up. 4-1. Yeah, Sasuke's playing great. Search and destroy here, kind of on an unknown map. And it does look like Sasuke, uh, they do have some, it looks like a little bit of play calls here on this map, looking like they're they, at least, in. at least they know where to look on the map. Uh, probably getting a lot of hard point reps in. And so they're they're knowing kind of where players are going to be coming from. It's They're not too blindsided by having a new map here. So uh, shout out to Sasuke for doing a, probably a little bit of homework on this map. Uh, but the side of Seattle here, you're looking for an attacking round here. Let's see if they switch it up, maybe go towards that B side. And that's exactly where we're going to see here from the side of Seattle. You know, it hasn't been working for them uh, on that A side. So they are going to go towards that B side. We do see one kill coming down from Sneep in the middle here. Uh, but this B side is completely clear. They obviously don't know that. Um, but, you know, Sasuke's been four stacking that A side every single time. So it uh, looks like this bomb's going to start going down from the side of Seattle here with the 3v4 retake coming from Sasuke. Make it a 3v2 retake, but the bomb is down like you just said, and 
Seattle in a good position here. Does he read the play? No, Kalapuli gets one. Can he get the second? No, Nico's there for the trade. It's all up to Shuggy here in the 2v1, plus the defuse. 30 seconds left. He's going to go for the hop up here. Hops up, doesn't get the timing. Seattle close it out. 4-2 to on the rounds. Huge round for Seattle to bounce back. Great play there from the side of Seattle with a great play call going towards that B side. Uh, Sneep with an, a, a great kill. And man, I just can't help but laugh. But seeing a, a friggin' human sized sloth <laughs> popping up there from the jump up. But uh, man, it makes it really hard to, to cast over there. But what a, just a great play from the side of Seattle. Hashtag the sloths. Um, you know, coincidence there. I, th I think not there. Uh, but it's just a great round from the side of Seattle. Definitely a massive round from Seattle here, and they're looking to bounce back as well. Get another defensive round win here. But Sasuke, they opt for that B hit. It was successful for them before, it, and they're trying to do it. Once again, Sneep does get attacked, so he is weak. They know where he is, able to at least regenerate, get his life back up. And if you're Sasuke here, do you go for that A rotate? And it looks like they might go for it. Boone with one though, getting Q, trying to get that trade, but Boone with another, with a turn on. That is massive for Boone, unable to get the third. Chuggy is there to 3v2, but the B site is, I mean, the A site is open. Man, Nico did exactly what we just saw Boone do. Uh, we saw two identical gunfights back, back to back there from that aquarium blue side. Uh, unfortunately, we do have Shuggy here, left in a 1v3. Uh, kind of looking like it's going to be a little bit of impossible here it does pick up an mcw so he has both short and long range uh looks like he is going to be able to get this bomb down makes it a little bit easier on the retake but unfortunately the seattle players are closing in uh gonna get some shots off and uh steam's gonna pick up that kill uh, just a just a good round from the side of seattle good retakes uh you know sasky we saw it developing they, they pushed that b site pretty early we saw that that early or kind of late rotation coming through to that a side and they did a good job of playing back in their spawn they did catch a couple seattle players kind of off guard uh but just unable to finish those gunfights there those two gunfights we saw would have been absolutely massive from the side of sasuke could have been taking a life advantage and really just confused seattle and not knowing exactly where they're going to go kind of in that mid rotation uh so sasuke really good play call here uh are there on that offense, but unfortunately not able to uh, just execute on those kills. Seattle yeah, doing a phenomenal job so far coming back when they were down four to one. And if you're Seattle, you are down on the rounds here, but you must be feeling a bit more, at least maybe confident, but at least sure of yourself here. And the trade's coming in, doing a great job so far for Seattle. You know, make sure you're, you're playing together and. They are unable to pick up the bomb yet, and the crews comes in. Graf gets the kill, gives his team the advantage. What a play call from Graf here. Getting the crews in, and then Berserk unable to get the kill. Graf is there with another massive kill for the side of Seattle. It is all up uh, for the side of Sasuke, and it's all up to Boon here. Can he get one? Yes, he can. It's 2v1 now. Tough situation to be in. He does have the bomb to work with. Yeah, Boone with a, a great kill to make it a 1v2 here. Unfortunately, he's going to get some tags from the side of Graf here. And Graf uh, just kind of goes huge for a scene there with that, that cruise missile kill on P1, able to pick up a couple shots there towards that A side as well. And uh, uh, we do see a match point, series point here for the mm -hmm. side of Sasuke on the six-star S&D going up, I believe, 5 to 3 in the search and destroy here as they're going to be heading to the attacking round. Uh, let's see if Sasuke pulls out something a little bit different. You know, we've seen kind of half and half here. Take an A site, B site, kind of slow. So well, it'll be interesting to see what Sasuke calls here. Yeah, if I was Sasuke here, I'd just go for mid-aggression and try to at least get control of the map before hitting A or B. But it looks like they're going for an A hit with a one player splitting mid. And we've seen how this A hit goes where the trophy's down and a lot of util is thrown. The suns are in, so is the smoke, nades. All that and Berserk with a massive read here gets one, throws some tags in, trying to get at least another kill. But Seattle is up on lives for the three. 
Yeah, great play from Seattle from Berserk, just being able to sit back there, knows that uh, there's a couple players coming in, and unfortunately the side of Sasuke doesn't realize that he backs up. Uh, but Call is going to get a big kill there towards that side of B, going to kind of pull these players over to that side. Bomb is going down on A, unknown to Seattle here. They're kind of confused here. Now they know uh, Bomb is down. They had a couple players rotate here, so... Uh, Sasuke doing a good job of being able to get some map presence here. We do see Berserk uh, able to get some COD timing on getting Q there. Unfortunately, it's going to be a 1v3 with the side of Graf here. And if there's one person on your team right now, you want to be in this situation. It's Graf here, but we do see Nico on the bomb already. Uh, boom, able to pick up Graf there. Able to bring this to a 5v4 in this six-star search and destroy map five. And this was definitely a Berserk round where he got that initial first blood to give his team the advantage and then was able to get, also get the player that planted the bomb on rotation as well by playing all the way back. Sometimes playing passive is the right play, and that's exactly what Seattle does. Able to get those kills, able to get that defuse as well. Massive round for Seattle, and a great bounce back after being down 5-3. to three. They are on offense though right now, and we've seen how Sasuke does play those defenses where they split between putting two on mid, one on A, and one on B, and let's see if they do the same thing on this round. Yeah, Seattle's had some interesting offensive rounds here. It looks like they're going to be taking that bomb towards B. We do see Shuggy getting a little aggressive on those mid-steps. He's probably going to get spotted out from this, uh, from Nico over, or Nico over there. Shuggy able to get a little bit aggressive on Boone, take up that first kill. And that's going to be a big first blood from the side of Sasuke here with Seattle kind of pushing this bomb up on B, just making sure they, they have the B site clear, able to put this bomb down now. And this is going to be a, a 4v3 Sasuke retake here on the B site, no players are near. And so it's just going to be teamwork here, trying to set up where you want to attack from. Right now, if you're Sasuke, you don't want to take this to round 11, especially with Seattle winning two rounds in a row that will definitely give them the momentum for that round 11. So you have to find a way to close that out here, but you don't have a lot of time left to work with. It's only 25 seconds. Chuggy with one. Sneep, can he get the kill? No, Q is there. That is huge for the side of Sasuke. Taking in a 3v1, all up to Nico, and Sasuke is able to close that out. They win this SD 6 to 4. Chuggy with a smiley face. He's always happy. 12 and 8. I mean, that's a huge performance from him, but shout out Sasuke. I mean, you win both SDs and the control. That's all you need. You don't need to win a single hard point if you can close it out like that.